Well, this is actually my second pick, which would explain why you have trouble picking players because you're miscalculations. But what I will say, did you say three? I will because I have one and you have one. So it's- I thought you said third. my third pick. No. I'm sorry, I take it all back. You're I'm the best. <laughs> Uh, my guy, uh, there's no logical reason based on performance to take this guy. Are you picking with your heart? No, I'm not. I'm actually picking with my brain. Um, this guy, uh, let me just go back through his last five events. Texas Open cut, Honda cut, players 67th, Arnold Palmer 70, Genesis Invitational cut. Does that sound like someone who would be a dark horse pick? Well, I know who it is now. <laughs> you don't know who it is. Yes, I you do know who it is. But when I'm looking across our sheet, this guy stood out, right? And one of the things that we've talked about this week is the fact that this event allows for a lot of one putts because of the green size. So even if you miss the green, if your scrambling is solid, you're still in play. So I'm taking this guy's Achilles heel, which is putting, and I'm gonna disregard that stat, which means I'm left with a lot of green, 52 in driving accuracy, 49 in ball striking, 23 proximity to the hole, 67 in scrambling. Those are all solid PGA Tour numbers that would lead one to believe this is the week that this fellow turns it around He's going to be comfortable. He was at home last week. I know he was frustrated. He was in a sour mood. Um, but I think his dog, Rusty, really brought him back to reality. He's a nice human being. He's got a great mom. He's got a suspect sister. My second Dark Horse pick is Russell Knox. But my dad, he's pretty cool. Oh, I put him in his own category. That guy, not only is he cool, he can play, so yeah. he's um, in his own category. Okay. Cool. I'm glad that you picked him. Go ahead. You can you can say it's a terrible pick oh. if you No, I will never say that. And the main reason there's two reasons I say that. Number one, he's my brother. So of course I'm always the positive one that thinks that it'll turn around. But secondly, this is one of his favorite courses on the tour, if not his number one favorite course. And he has said since his very first season that one day he's gonna win this tournament. He's finished runner up before. He loves it here. Um so I I am for it. I'm for it. It's good. You're for it. Well, it would be fitting if he was able to slip on the tartan jacket.